and I'm like, Jeremiah, you'll be ministering on last week. Are you comfortable with that? And I'm like, but I'm not qualified. But I've never preached. But I don't actually know the Bible well. Yeah? But what will I tell the people, not even the students? They are like me. What will I tell them? So I ended, I ended up giving another person the chance. Since I, was, I, I actually wasn't assertive, I wasn't actually confident. I included a bat. So number six, learn to use I statements. Learn how to use I statements. This actually dictates that you are thinking, feeling without sounding accusatory. So, uh, I think, I'm actually assertive about this. You don't actually have to believe me, okay? But I'm assertive about it. I'm, I'm actually telling you to learn how to include I statements, right? Like, I believe the length of the dress, dressing code of a woman determines the length of the relationship. So, the longer the dress, <laughs> the longer the relationship will last. It's actually true. I'm actually talking to the people who have ever dated. Or are dating. If you are actually dating a person who has mini skirts each and every time. Now, but here I'm with. Okay? So, here we are. Like, hi. And you can actually go. Such why. Is the wedding gown touching the ground? It actually simplifies an eternal covenant <laughs> till death do us part. So each and every time, to be assertive, you must use I statements. Like, I will, I believe. So you get a time on a same so use I statements. Number seven, be an active listener. Be an active listener. I have a question. Can you give an opinion without first listening to the agenda? Can you? So in order for you to be assertive, you must be an active listener. Mark chapter four, verse 23 to 24. Mark chapter 4, verse 23 to 24. If anyone has ears to hear, let him hear. Then he said to them, Take heed what you hear. With the same measure you use, it will be measured to you. And to you who hear, more will be given. So in order for you to be assertive, you must actually make sure you are an active listener. But take heed what you hear. Someone like me, I can never listen to a preacher and never learn anything from him. I can never listen to a song and never gain anything. So in order for you to be assertive, you must be an active listener. And I actually came to realize that this might be the reason why God created the ears open all the time and a mouth that closed and open. Right? That can actually tell us something. You need to hear more than you talk. So, importance, importance of assertiveness. Number one, it actually 